Hi, this is Jason from The Strength Guys, and today we're going to take a look at the bench press in Dartfish Team Pro. The weight on the bar is 390 pounds, and the lifter, Taylor Atwood, is going to perform a triple with this weight. So the first thing that I'd like to bring to your attention is just the tightness of his shoulder in the starting position. The height of his arch and you can see that his arch doesn't peak lower, as it does with many lifters, but it actually peaks up here, right as he's about to begin the press. And this is good because he's now bringing the barbell down to the highest point on his chest. So next, what we're going to do is we're going to watch his first rep, and we're going to do a BPA, or a bar path analysis. So we're going to set up our tracker, And we want it to show trajectory, so we're going to zoom through it. Good. So it was a really smooth first repetition. And one of the key components of Taylor's bench press training in the lead up to USA Nationals was that I would challenge him to shorten his range of motion. So I was providing him these distance statistics and he was taking this as motivation to uh, improve his setup position and improve the height of his arch, which we can also measure using the program. So now that we've done the first rep, and it was a very, very well-performed rep, we're going to take a look at the next view. But before we do that, we're going to take a look at his shoulder positioning. And I'd like to highlight to you the difference here compared to at the very start of the set when he had tightness in his shoulders and they were retracted, depressed, and in a very stable position to press a lot of weight. And now we're starting the press from a bit of a protracted position. And this represents a loss of tightness in the back musculature. And we're going to see what the effect of it is. So we're going to set up a different color of marker here. And we're going to take a look at his bar path once again. So you can see that he brings the bar down to a sharper point, a lower point, which is higher up on his structure. And then he begins to press vertically up before he compensates. And what we end up with is this S-shaped pressing pattern, where he actually ended up hitting the rack slightly on his left-hand side. So this difference is caused by the loss of tightness, so in his shoulders. And we'll also see a similar trend occur on the third repetition. So this is how we use Dartfish here at The Strength Guys to help out with bench press training, uh, to measure bench press performance, and then to also challenge our athletes to achieve a higher level of technique and set up proficiency with their arch and shoulder tightness. I hope that you found this video interesting, and we'll see you soon.